is a toe drag. Now, a lot of times people think of a toe drag as literally only using the toe of your stick. Sometimes you'll see that and it's great if you get really good at it. The problem with it is you're not really giving yourself the best chance for success when you're going full speed in a game. If you're only using the toe, there's a really good chance that that puck might slip off and you're not gonna actually be able to do the move that you wanna do. But toe drags can still be really effective if you do them in a slightly different way. So if I'm trying to get around an opponent, <clears throat> actually coach, I'm gonna have you stand in here. Yeah. So if coach Aaron's standing here, I wanna get my hands slid together on my stick and have that puck far away. You're gonna to need to actually step back a little bit. There you go. Have my hands together and get that puck far away from me so she kind of wants to bite on it. And then all I have to do is pull that top hand in and push it out. So I'm gonna pull it in, push it out, and now I'm around her, okay? You'll notice that my stick, step over just a tad, okay? So when I do this move, my stick is not like this. I'm not on the toe of my stick, okay? I'm really more on kind of the whole front half of my blade and it's almost flat onto the ice. So there's a really good chance that I'm not gonna lose the puck, which is what we want. So have those hands together, pull it in, and then beat her wide. The old toe drag. The old toe drag. And we got 20% uh, battery. Oh, I hope that didn't stop the... That might have stopped the thing when you're 20% thing. Oh no, it's still going.